Over to Matt Hoover. Hoover across the timeline to Massey. Massey guarded out top by White. Over for B.J. Sharon. Back out top for Brooks. Brooks tries to make a move inside. Back out for Hoover. And they're going to call three seconds in the lane against the Cardinals. Ball goes over to the Bobcats. Preston Brooks limping to the sidelines, Chuck. I don't know whether it's a cramp or what, but he's done something to his knee there. Maybe Tony Ingram can come in and uh, put on a few power plays. Brooks lifts to the sidelines, holding his right knee. Bob Kess with the basketball, a five-point lead, 58-53. Ball stolen away by Matt Hoover. Nice defense as he strips the pocket of Shannon White. Three-pointer by Massey. It's good. Seth Massey with a basket from outside. And the Cardinals are only going to get him a two on that shot, Chuck. They're going to say his foot was on the line. They're going to give him two points instead of three. But the Cardinals back within three points, 58-55. We're going to take a 30-second timeout. We'll be back with a final four minutes and 23 seconds after this message. Well tonight. Shannon White over to Ronnie Davis. Davis double teamed in the backcourt. He's going to be fouled by... I believe Tony Engel. <laughs> Tony Engel picking up his first personal. And the Bobcats will have the basketball. Dave works it in for Davis. Ronnie Davis brings it back out near half court. Started out front by Massey. Ball stolen by Sutton. And then re-stolen by the Bobcats. Sutton trying to hit Massey with a long pass. It's stolen back by the Bobcats. Ronnie Davis inside for Sean Davis. Turn around jumper. Gets a friendly bounce. It's up and in. It's their night tonight, Chuck. 60 to 55, a five point lead for the Bobcats. Massey underneath for Sutton. Sutton off the glass, it's up, it's good. Basket by Alonzo Sutton. Cardinals back within three points. 321 left in the ball game. Day over for Sean Davis. Davis shot, too hard, tip, no good. Hoover comes out with it. Over for Massey. Massey underneath for Engel. Lost Stripped away, almost stolen. Matt Hoover runs it down. Hoover baseline shot. Up and in. Cardinals back within one point, 60 to 59. And Chuck, the Cardinals just won't go away. Day for three. It's no good. Saved inbounds by McNary. Inbounds to White. White takes it underneath. Too hard. Rebound by the Bobcats. John Davis sticks it up and in, and he's going to be fouled underneath. And I believe they're going to call it on Sutton. Foul on Sutton. Sutton picking up his fourth personal. And with two minutes and 43 seconds left in the ball game, the Bobcats move back out to a three-point lead. And Sean Davis, number 21, 6'5", senior, walks to the line for the Bobcats. He'll have one shot. Shot short, long rebound, comes back out to the Bobcats. And Chuck, they're getting all the breaks tonight. Bobcats working in for Davis, turn around shot. It's up, it's good. Nice inside move by Davis. Messi out top for Engel, long pass over for Hoover. He'll shoot a three, in and out. Engel fights for the rebound. Back out for Massey, he'll shoot a three. No good, Sutton with a rebound. 
And he's going to be fouled underneath the basket as Sutton just couldn't get it to go down. But he's fouled underneath. And Sutton will walk to the line. He'll have two shots. Foul on Ronnie Davis, number 24. And Chuck, we need both these free throws. 64-59, a five-point lead for the Bobcats. Preston Brooks comes back in to replace Engel. Sutton free throw, it's nothing but net. Sutton, second shot. It's up, it's good. 64-61, a three-point lead for McNary. McNary with the basketball, full court pressure defense by the Cardinals. Bobcats break the pressure, they work it across the timeline. Over for Ronnie Davis, Davis over for Chana White, dumping inside for Sean Davis. And Sean Davis is gonna be fouled inside by Brooks. Preston Brooks picking up the foul. That's going to be three on Preston. Preston needs a score. He needs a score this half. And the Bobcats are going to have the basketball underneath their own basket. One minute and 55 seconds left in the ball game. Atkins travel, no call. Shot no good. Tip up and in. I think they're going to give the basket to Sean Davis, number 21. Preston Brooks outside for Massey. Massey dumps it in for Sutton. Sutton turned around jumper, up and in. 66-63. Bobcats with a basketball. Cardinals with some full court pressure defense. Over for Ronnie Davis, up ahead for Prather. And Prather's going to bring it back outside. Shannon White with a basketball. Coach North wants a timeout. Talk things over with one minute and 11 seconds left. McNary Central, 66. Adamsville, 63. Davis works it in for Shannon White. White's going to be fouled by Hoover. And the Cardinals got a couple of fouls to give as that's only the fifth team foul against the Cardinals. Luke Rogers coming in for Hoover, and he sent in to foul somebody, I'm pretty sure, Chuck. Davis works it in for White. White foul by Chad Wyatt. And it's gonna be a one-on-one -on -one, on -one -on -one opportunity for McNary. With a minute and five seconds left to go. McNary 66, Adamsville 63. And Shannon White, usually a pretty good free throw shooter, Chuck. Yeah. White averaging 16.7 points on the season. He's right on it, isn't he, Chuck? White free throw. It's too hard. Sharon up with a rebound, stolen away by Atkins. As they fouled Sharon, no call. And Chuck, that's hard to believe they didn't call a foul as they were all over the back of BJ. Unbelievable call. Ronnie Davis will go to the free throw line for the Bobcats. He'll have a one-on-one -on -one opportunity. Shot by Davis too hard. Hoover comes out with it. Matt Hoover up with a rebound across the timeline. Down low for Sutton. And it's out of bounds as that pass was a little too high. Sutton unable to hang on to it. And Chuck, we needed that shot. 